Hi guys, welcome back to the 12 Days of Foundation. Today is day number five and we're gonna be testing out a very iconic foundation. Next to like Estee Lauder Double Wear, I feel like this was at least one of the foundations you heard the most about and that is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I'm gonna be using mine in combination to oily because of course I have very oily skin and we're gonna be putting it to the test throughout the day. I will link to the rest of the 12 Days of Foundation down below. So let's get started. This foundation has been around for a very long time. I remember when I first started watching YouTube, this was probably one of the things I went out and bought first because so many people talked about it. Not only does it come in a combination oily formula, but there's also a normal to dry, which I love. It's being even more inclusive. There's about 15 shades in the range on the Revlon website, however, it listed like six, but on the Ulta website and some other drugstore website, it lists a much larger range. I've always had a hard time finding Toast here in Canada, which is the shade that I'm wearing 370 toast and about an NC42, NC43 for reference. So let me know down below what kind of shade range um, is where you live because I know that they kind of mix it up depending on where in the country you are, are you in Canada, United States, what state, what province, that kind of thing. Retails for about 12 to $18, definitely a little bit on the higher price for a drugstore foundation. And recently they came out with a pump. That is not the one I have. I bought this a few months ago um, waiting to do a review on and then I've just kind of put it off to the side but it does come with a pump now which is awesome and it comes in a glass bottle which makes it a little bit easier to see what you've got in there you get a full fluid ounce of product as well so let's get into the application that is my cat not a baby I'm gonna be using a beauty blender on one side and a um, elf ultimate blending brush on the other this foundation has been reformulated several times put in new a new bottle recently with the pump the formula that I have is the one just before the pump so it doesn't list having an SPF but online here it says it's a foundation that smooths on evenly for a flawless look color stain makeup with soft flex SPF for combination oily skin by Revlon it features soft flex technology that will not rub off with normal wear oil free formula looks fresh feels natural and controls excess oil it also recommends that you blend it in quickly. I had no problems blending it out, doing one half of my face and then the other, but if you move really slowly, you might wanna keep that in mind. I've given the foundation a few minutes to set. I did my brows while I was waiting. I think it gives a really great amount of coverage. I built up about two layers, very close to full. So if you have anything you lo you're looking to cover and you want a good drugstore foundation, I think that this is a great option. I don't think that it's dried down completely matte, but it is starting to set on my skin. I'm going to use a powder either way. I don't feel like it highlights any kind of texture or pores in my skin nothing more than normal I don't really have major issues with that but if you do you can of course get the help of a pore filling primer so I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup oh for application I liked both sides beauty blender is generally faster for me so I'd probably go that route but I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup and show you how it looks in photographs Everything went on really smoothly while I was putting on the rest of my makeup. I had no problem blending in my liquid kind of cream concealer, even though the foundation had kind of set. It looks super, super flawless on the skin. I would definitely say this is nearing full coverage depending on what kind of skin issues you have. You may always need to kind of color correct or do some spot concealing depending on what you've got going on. But for me, it definitely gives like just as much coverage as I would ever need. It does not look super cakey on the skin or cakey at all really, um, but I would be careful an app application I can see how this could go a little bit too far um, but I love the way it looks in photos of course it's gonna look great when you've got a nice full coverage foundation like this and then in um, flash photos I didn't really have any issues with flashback I think it looks super natural there's a sheen to the skin it doesn't look matte or caked on and I don't feel like um, it would cling on to any kind of acne or anything like that but if you do of course have a drier skin type with dry patches then I would recommend going for the normal to dry formula so so far so good we're gonna see how this lasts throughout the day if it oxidizes if it moves around if everything else stays on my face but so far so great and I will check back with you at the end of the day so it looks like we have another winner. It is now the end of the day and I am super impressed with how this wore. I think it wore beautifully, albeit I'm a little bit shiny, but that is just basically to be expected. It did not wear off on my face. It did not oxidize. It doesn't feel greasy. It even kind of has that little bit of a tight feeling. Um, you know, when you're wearing something a little bit matte and it just kind of feels tight on your face, that may sound negative, but like when you have oily skin, 
that's kind of dreamy like you kind of want that um, the oils started to come through around 12 or 1 which is pretty normal for me I'm just gonna blot so I can show you how it would have reacted if I had blotted throughout the day and um, I'm just really loving this I'm glad to have it back in my life it's been years since I've tried this and I think the fact that it is super hyped up is totally valid like there's a reason for it I was actually going to blot then powder but I don't even think I need to do that I think it looks amazing now that I have blotted this is gonna be an absolute favorite of mine it's gonna come back into like the daily rotation the only negative about this is that it could potentially get cakey but that's up to you um, I would recommend a beauty blender go in with really light layers until you achieve the coverage and look that you want but overall huge thumbs up absolutely impressed and highly recommend I will link to the rest of the 12 days of foundation down below along with the rest of my oily skin diaries series and if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on instagram twitter and snapchat at samantha jane yt and i'll see you guys next time bye